So transit weather for this week, November 16th to the 21st, the sun is in gate 14 and the earth is in gate eight. My favorites, because this thing is the cross of contagion where we just came off of structuring from before. Yep, and we're gonna explain this contagion and what this eight and this 14 really are all about. Absolutely. So here we can see as we continue our walk down the around the mandala, the sun in 14 is a sacral gate and it's power skills. And then the earth is in gate eight, which is contribution. And that's another throat gate. Yeah, lots of manifestation goes on here. This contagion, what it's dying to do is it's dying to make a contribution. Yeah, yeah. So before it was dying to explain an insight. I say dying to pick a different word if you want, but wanting to desiring and, uh, want, heavily. <laughs> yeah, want wanting is actually the right word because that's the um individual emotional stream of awareness is keynote. So very much wants to, and this country now it wants to make a contribution. I wanted to explain it. Now that I explained it, I would like to contribute this for real and empower the other. So perfect. So diving into gate 14, it is possession in great measure. And it's the gate of power skills. It's the accumulation and retention of power through skilled interaction, coupling grace with control. And it's a sacral gate and it's part of individual circuitry. So the keynote is empowerment and it's part of the knowing circuit. And it links up with gate two, which is the receptive and the 14 to make up the channel of the beat. And so gate 14 empowers direction for the individual and humanity through the distribution of available resources. It's fertile power at its most exalted, and it's the gas pedal that controls when and how the resources are released. When it's aligned doing loved work, it will generate wealth and power. And these resources are yours to manage to empower others, to support individual creativity, charitable activities, or leaders with a vision for humanity's future. The power skills, um, the power through skilled interaction, coupling grace with control, that's generator language. The skilled interaction is, am I following my strategy and allowing myself to just wait and respond? Um, the skill, the, the retention of the power is not responding. I, I mean, only responding when there is something to respond to. That's the retention part. And it doesn't matter if you have a defined sacral or not. It's still the sense of, do I pour my energy in? Because this great, this gate is, is greatly abundant with all kinds of um, energy that all the different types want. And I'm also including the types of other things like the Penta wants it deeply and the Wa wants it deeply. This is the corporate structure of large organizations. They want that 14. It's, it's part of the whole circuitry of the Wa. It's important is all I'm getting at. And it's abundance is the generated abundance to push the vision that moves in through gate two. This channel of the beat is like setting up the rhythm that's gonna basically push things forward. And it acts also like the cop on a beat. We're going this way because I retain my energy only for this. Otherwise, I don't have a favorable response for you. So that's the retention of gate 14 and it, 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 it wants to work. It wants to go to work and it wants to push a direction. That's what it wants. Fascinating. Is that like the channel of the beat? Does that refer to like that nature of like that rhythm? Mm -hmm. Even okay. though the channel of rhythm is right next to it, this yeah. is the rhythm of your own internal clock your individual. And the retention of your power. Okay. Interesting. So it's more of like an individual like rhythm where the 15, five is like a collective rhythm. Yeah. If it's, it's yeah. consistency and extremes, gate five is consistency, mm -hmm. gate 15 is extremes. So it's that yeah. collective rhythm where that two fourteen. that's really interesting. The channel of the beat of like your own individual rhythm of that sacral to the identity. Right. Exactly. All the way up through to the throat. If you just follow that, that, that line up. And of course, because the collective one is called the channel of rhythm, it's because the, it's collective, it's for everything. And it's shared forcefully uh, in a way because um, it's, it's generated. Fascinating. All right. Moving yep. onward to gate eight. Gate eight is the gate of, of contribution and holding together. It's the basic worth realized in contributing individual efforts to group goals. It's part of the throat center, which is individual empowerment, and it's part of the knowing circuitry. And it links up with gate one, 
which is self-expression, and then the one eight make up the channel of inspiration. Gate eight says, I know I can contribute or not. It's contribution either through public displays of your own individual lifestyle, direction, and creations, or by empowering and publicly promoting others. It's drawn toward what is novel and innovative, and it's finding yourself attracting others' attention, like a gallery owner or the art agent, right? And it must be recognized and invited to publicly display and endorse what you know to be of future value. Yeah, it must endorse it. And so let's keep this word want through all of what we do when we get into the individual circuitry, generally speaking. It wants to contribute. And it's about as needy as wanting to contribute as gate 43 and or 23 are to explain something. So this is where manifest above, because there's no motor potential from above to below, right? From the head through to the throat, there can be no motor action in that pressure, but no motor. Everything from below sooner or later goes through a motor. This is manifestation. Before we explain stuff, now we need to contribute it. And that contribute is more than just an explanation. It now moves into action and deeds. Notice how collective it sounds, gate eight. It's, it's got to go to group goals. I mean, that's almost, so it's the individual insertion into the group goals. It'd be another way to show how um, the individual meets up with the tribal definition, because those group goals are almost always in some tribal setting, or I shouldn't say almost always, but mostly they would be most common in tribal settings um, between other people you have to support. And it's hunger to contribute is, is it's want to contribute is, is strong. When you have this gate, you'll notice the bitterness that can crop up when your uh, attempts to, to contribute are thwarted. Same thing when your explanations are ignored. So That's interesting. And it's neat understanding like the one eight, whereas like gate one from the identity is like that individual expression of self. And then I like how it explains with gate eight, it's more like the gallery owner, the art agent. So if like gate one is the artist who's like creating something new and inspiring to share with the world. Then, has no idea it's doing it. Yeah. And then gate eight is the one that's like the art agent, the gallery owner that's going to be promoting it and expressing it out for it, you know, for people to be able to experience it. Absolutely. In the Penta, this is the gate of public relations. This is, oh no, hey, look at, come look at us this way. Oh, it's pretty good. Check this out. Oh, it's so unique. This is where we put our branding on to things. Gate eight is the brander of things and the maker of the color, decider of the contributor of the colors that make it pretty and marketable. And this is the public relations side of things. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. All right. Yep. So moving on to our incarnation crosses. First up is the right angle cross of contagion. And this is people committed to making a potent contribution to society through their accumulation and retention of power slash money and its resources used to wisely empower or fuel humanity's growth, development, and evolution. Then it'll shift over into the juxtaposition cross of empowering, which is people whose melancholic spirit is intimately connected to their financial security. It's the resources to create a solid foundation in order to guarantee a return on their investment, which empowers others. And then finally, it'll shift into the left angle cross of uncertainty, it's by understanding the financial uncertainty of others, they are able to assist with providing what is needed. It's intimacy achieved or enhanced through providing. That providing is real important because what it says is both these gates are in the individual circuitry. That means they must empower the other. There can be no fulfillment and they cannot have what they want until they've actually gotten out and contributed this empowerment. That's part of why it starts out as contagious because these people are doing it and it's mostly a generated activity, even if it's not inside of a generator. This juxtaposition cross, and I'm glad they mentioned the melancholy because the melancholy of these two gates is profound. I don't know what to work for. I can't tell where my energy is best placed, says gate 14. And gate eight says, I can't find what's worth contributing. I, I can't find a group to contribute it into. I'm being lost into the wilderness. And so these two melancholies, when they show up, they're about to make you more intelligent. Let them. Remember, I keep saying this fear, the emotional wave, 
the melancholy, these things guarantee greater intelligence on the other side, emotional intelligence, awareness, consciousness, all these beautiful words that all line up to one thing. You get smarter on the other side, more capable, more, more yourself, like truly. And that finds you the other people, of course. And then, of course, this uncertainty. They put all these things. I noticed this was done in another time, really, where they where money was like, you know, money is really important. And so they put things in financial terms. But you could substitute that word financial and money for um, your clout in the tribe. What you contribute. You could you could actually just substitute it for what you empower contribution towards. You know, because if you had a lot of money, you can power lots of contributions that way. But it's not just the money. It's about your in the now, in the pulse, creatively contributing. Anything other than that, as soon as you start thinking a ton too much, as soon as you're outside of your strategy and authority, none of these crosses will will align for you. And then it will be hard. And as soon as you are, you start to see how uncertainty is just you being careful. <laughs> That's all. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Awesome. Finally, we have the hexagram. So the sun is in gate 14 and it's power skills and it's fire over heaven. In the I Ching, it says great possession. And the image reads, fire dwells above heaven, great possession. A noble one ends hatred and spreads the good. She yields to heaven and rests in her mandate. The stars move in their courses in accordance with natural law. A noble one has an inner awareness of creative reality and carries this through into insight and clarity and living. The greatness of the cosmos is that it works as it should. And so her task is quite simple, to allow it to be, remove obstacles and work with it. Hatred would only waste energy, resisting reality. Spreading the good aligns with the natural order. The sun does not struggle to rise in the sky, it just rises. In the same way, because a noble one assents to what is and yields to heaven, she can rest in her work. And it all rests on the lower trigram. So again, uh, this is just like before, it's resting in heaven. This fire though, the fire for Motrin is imbued with its center column, just like this, just like in the Penta, for instance, where the upper trigram fire is centered with the yin. And it's pointing at the yinist gate that there is. Um, so it really says this fire is the purpose and the heaven is the um, is the contribution. I mean, is the contribution of skills and powerful skilled interaction where the generative energy is responding. That's the, that's the, once that's happening, that's heaven. But we needed fire to get there. That's how I hear this being read. Mm -hmm. I just really love that line. Like her task is quite simple to allow it to be remove obstacles and work with it. Like recognize reality for what it is and work with it. Like don't throw a fit about it. You don't have to like struggle about it, but like, Hey, this is what we're working with with reality. Accept that and work with it and just flow and, with it. And it is important to keep using this word work. Um, 14 wants to work. It wants to find the right work. It wants to find the work that fulfills it such that it's not work. It's just being you. That's its skilled interaction is finding that. And when the person finds that in the other, what they find is great abundance to generate work mm -hmm. in hopes of achieving a direction that ultimately becomes contagious. Perfect. All right. So now we have uh, gate eight, which is contribution. And in the I Ching, it says seeking union. And the image reads... Above earth is the stream seeking union. The ancient kings founded countless cities for relationships with all the feudal lords. The streams flow together naturally over the earth. People too have their natural confluences. The ancient kings strengthened those by building cities near the rivers, perhaps following the contours of the landscape. You can support and commit to your relationships in the same way, recognizing their natural flow and working with it. I find this gate eight to work with this natural flow is to almost look and see, obviously these two gates are mirrors to each other. So where is the one yang gate now uh, line? And that one yang line is in the fifth position. So what they're saying is we're going to externalize this yang thing as it relates to, um, as it relates to what fifth line is, the seduction is the yang in this particular is 
when you're making the contribution, the seduction becomes your yang muscular contribution in that moment because it's a it's an insertive thing. You're inserting it literally, but the rest of it is supported by Mother Earth, and it speaks so widely to the gate. In other words, gate eight here. I know it serves gate one to make the contribution, but really, I think it's looking past one. It's saying, gate one, I need you. We're good together. This is great. But I'm sort of serving gate two in my almost full yinness to basically make sure this pushes a direction. So your creativity is great, but it is sort of secondary to the direction that the con contribution is for the greater good. So this is a that's a lot what I just said and it's this is a lot of gate right here. I wish I had gate eight because I have a gate one. I used to be like I want it. I think I want it. I must have it. You know? Hey, aren't we all with all our like all the white yeah. areas in our chart is like what we initially chase in right. design of like oh I wish I had this and I wish I had that and I love that the longer that we're in design the more you're like no that's not me that's not what I am you can I still have a little twinge of envy but I find the the longer I go through my design the more I can appreciate it for what it is all right so how do we tie it together how do we uh, put a cherry on top for the sun in uh 14 you're desperate years. to make a contribution this week you're looking at it you just came off a week of insights you got so much stuff going on in your head and it sort of faded what was in the head and now your body wants to generate a contribution watch it feel it be go do it and just like Mooney said on the last one uh, how did you put it you're like try it when it well, try it when the timing isn't right try it when the timing is and and how did you say that last time it's go out yeah. and make your contribution yeah. and or fail at it a little bit and see what both are like yeah I mean that's the whole thing of the human design experiment is like you learn something, you you learn a pattern of expression and then you kind of play with it of like, it's not like you're gonna learn and they're like, oh, now I know to wait to be invited and never try to initiate something, right? Like you're, you're gonna stumble, you're gonna trip into it um, just by nature of it and have fun with it. See what happens when you contribute and you're invited, see what happens when you contribute when you're not invited, you know, like see where that power lies and where you can feel that flow, right? Like you can feel when you're like in the pocket, you can feel when you're in the flow of the energy and you can feel when it's a little gravelly or like the, the gears need some oils, you know, allow that, allow yourself that grace and see how it feels and see what happens, see how other people react and respond and have fun with it. Absolutely. It's definitely a time for you to allow uniqueness to pour out of you. Then it's also a time for you to do a little investigating and find out in your life, is your uniqueness constantly being stymied? Is it being valued? Is it somewhere in the middle of the road where it's good enough and you're watching it? Look at this because this is where fulfillment comes from. It does not come from just a job that makes a lot of money. It doesn't, it, it mm -hmm. comes from your contribution, ultimately, whether you have this gate or not. In fact, Moni, I don't know anyone that when they could have none of these gates, none of them, and they came up with something and it was a unique contribution in the now, I don't know anyone who is not thrilled to death with themselves when they uniquely contribute something and it restarts the engine of movement in a direction towards beauty. You know, that's, that's what it's there for restart some restart some processes get that motor running because it wants to contribute it's abundant power ultimately and then don't bite off more than you can chew yeah this transit will pass so if you started 10 projects as a contribution to the world it, some are going to fall off and that's okay too you know maybe they won't but mostly some will fall off yeah. so just pay attention see what happens like that'll definitely happen when there's certain transits going on. Well, I, I will begin like one project and another one and another one and another one. And by like the time, like a couple hours go by, I have like three or four half started projects. I'm half cleaning this, half cleaning this. And like, just allow it, like laugh at yourself of like, oh, wow, that energy really got me started, but I did not have the energy to actually finish and follow through and, you know, enjoy it, laugh at it. I think we got to it somewhere along the way, but if you had to pick one gate, that becomes sort of the bane of our existence. This thing that's hardest, I call it, I'm, for now, I'm calling it gate 35. This expectation of things for the progress, it's, it's desire and it's hunger. Don't fall into the trap of expectations, literally. You can actually, you know what? I fall into expectations, but I don't fall into the trap of getting upset when they don't show up. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah, because you're going to have something really... that pops through, like an expectation is going to pop in, uh, just I think human nature. But yeah, like, 
allowing it to, to just because I expect something or I thought something might happen doesn't mean it will. And like, it doesn't mean to get mad right. or be unkind it about doesn't it. doesn't mean you shouldn't be um, generating this, this powerful motion in whatever direction it's being taken. Because again, it doesn't matter that gate two and gate one are not in this particular arrangement. They're in the world and that's where we're going. It's a direction towards creative beauty that has contributed towards the greater good of everyone else's creative beauty. That's where we're headed. Um, and that's what this wants to do. Again, want, so. Perfect, Ooh, all right. Well, yeah. Happy go, go transit weather for the week. <laughs> go contribute, have some fun. Absolutely, goodbye everyone.